Hey guys, so this week's Makeup Monday is going to be a makeup look uh, for spring and summer. As you can see, I have sort of fairly dramatic smoky eyes, but I'm using different colours to make it more spring-summer friendly, not quite so heavy. Um, and most of the look that I have done is come from my NARS palette here, which if any of you that are following my blog, you should know that I re-found my love for this in the week when I came across it in a box of makeup. Um, so I've tried to create a whole look mainly using this obviously you'll need a couple more products but I'll try and show you without blinding you from the mirror um, you can see the colours they're all quite cool and in fact it's called the cool palette I'm just looking at that there um, spring summer kind of colours try not to get the light there um, but what we're going to use basically are these two here for your eyes which is a real poppy blue and a purple and then we're going to use another turquoise which I'll show you in a second from another NARS um, duo and then obviously as you can see this is my favourite lip gloss which is Baby Doll and then the um, blusher here which is Orgasm so all of those there and obviously there's a highlighter in there for your cheeks as well and then the other one that I was just saying is it was a duo and this is called Clio um, it actually looks white and black there but it's actually a turquoise and a greeny black so um, that's the colours that we're using today um, so keep watching and I shall show you how to do this look it's really simple I'm just going to zoom you in so you can see the look a little bit better so as you can see quite sort of naturally coloured lips are a bit pinky and then my eyes you can see are slightly graduated there and that's the look we're going to show you today so keep watching and I'll show you how to do it so the first thing that we're going to do is prime the eye and the one that I'm using today is if you can see that lemonade by um, Benefit which is just like a, a creamy primer and we're just going to pop that on the eye to give an even colour to pop our shadows on you can if you wanted to take it away up to the brow but to be honest we don't really need to do much up there so I'm not going to bother today and then once you have that on you're going to take a brush like this here and you can obviously tell which colour I'm going to use now and we're going to go straight on with our blue colour and to that we're just going to apply it sort of middle of the lid outwards And you want to kind of pack this colour in because you want the brightness of it to shine through. And you're just going to take it just up into the crease ever so slightly, not going too much above it. It doesn't matter if you do because we're going to go on with a darker colour anyway. But So you sort of are getting there, you're fullness of the blue come there and then once you have done that colour we're then going to take a sort of smaller brush there and we're just going to pop on the turquoisey colour which I'm using today you could use anything pale fairly um, you know a whitey colour something like that but I've gone for a turquoise to keep with the blue blue theme and then we're going to take that into like the gap we've left and take it right into the tear duct there and so that you don't end up with two separate lines you then want to blend the two together where you've got the the line there small circular movements or just tap it on so that you've almost got an overlap and then you should sort of there you can see that it blends in quite nicely together And again, you're just going to be keeping that in line so you're going up into the crease but not really too much above. And that should be where you are now. Then you're going to take a smaller brush again, which is quite a flat brush there. And we're going to take our darker colour, which this time for me is going to be a purple, again keeping in with the blue colour theme. And this is where you go tend to make it like the smoky look. So we're going to take this on the outside edge and work down and create like your V and this one is where you're going to take it into the crease and slightly above and just literally backwards and forwards with that movement just to get the colour fill there 
and I guess you're taking it more or less sort of say I guess two thirds along the crease and outwards as if you were drawing a line from the corner up to the brow obviously you don't go up that high and there you can see you've got like your colour build up there and we want to make that slightly stronger and always remember I think with these kind of things until you've got the hang and you know the exact look you want to go for maybe start with a little bit and build it up that way it's easier to get the look rather than having to take it off and start again So there you go, I'm happy with that now and then what I'm going to do using the same brush and the same colour, I'm going to take it slightly underneath my bottom lashes, almost so that you get like the join that comes there rather than having it stop and then start another colour. But you don't want this to be too heavy because what we're then going to do is take the lighter blue and the turquoise to give an effect underneath there as it is spring summer we don't want the main focus to be on the dark colour really so that is where you sort of should be now with your look and then what you would do is using an angled shadow brush take the blue colour so like the poppy blue and we're just going to shade underneath the lashes ever so slightly and with this taking it I guess sort of three two thirds along the way, three quarters maybe if you wanted to and what you should end up with is like a graduated sort of purple to blue colour there and then once you're happy with those pop on your mascara so I'm just going to use my lash curlers on there my very dirty eyelash curlers I have to say these are my personal ones not my professional ones and then using whatever mascara you use, I'm using the um, Falsies by Maybelline. This is a really good one, it's really nice and dark, like a really dark black. And a good trick, trick with mascara is to pull your lid up slightly so that you don't end up getting the mascara on the actual skin. And this way, if you've pulled the lid up, you can still blink if you need to. Although it's making my eye water. And then when you've got only a little bit left on the wand, just gently go onto the bottom lashes just to give them a bit of definition. So there you go, you sort of have the graduated colours there. And then once your mascara is dried off on the bottom lashes, what you want to do is take your angled shading brush again. And you're just going to take some of the turquoise colour and just run that underneath. Just to lighten it all up underneath there. And then this bit is optional, um, you can pop a little bit of black eyeliner and I'm just going to use it just in the very corner of my waterline there. And there you go, that's your finished look there. So really simple and easy and the nice thing is using the different colours you still get the smoky eye effect but Okay, Slightly so more. now we all know how to achieve the spring summer look that I've created for you today. Um, the last couple of things that I've done as my finishing touches are obviously my cheeks um, with the blush that was in the palette and the highlighter and then I've just popped a little bit of gloss on there just to finish off the look. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this and I hope you will give it a go. Um, to check out more information about this look and other things I've done, take a look at my blog which is ohpretty.blogspot.com. I'll pop that in the information bar below. And I'll see you in the next video.